So today I'm going to show you the grave of David Scarborough. He was a young actor. He was in, uh, well, he made his acting debut in a TV program called Good Neighbours. No, oh, I'm not interested in girls anyway. Too young for that sort of thing. Yeah, never mind, Dave. Fancy you, though. Thanks. Same year he was in Grange Hill. Um, Grange Hill, I remember Grange Hill. That was sort of my era. And uh, yeah, I used to love coming home from school and watching Grange Hill. And he was in that. Um, and then in 1985, he was in he was in EastEnders right from the very beginning. He was the original Mark Fowler. Oi. Ask me before you do that. Can I have an apple one, Paul? Look, if you don't eat your tea, Mum will kill you. He's already had a kebab. Oi, Mark. And um, he was in it for a few months. And then after that, he sort of was in it and out of it. A um, bit of controversial stuff going on there with him and EastEnders. You can read up about it online, I won't go too much into that. Um, and the press gave him quite a hard time as well um, when he was in EastEnders. And um, I think his last appearance in EastEnders was the Christmas episode in 1987, if I remember. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and sadly, sadly, he took his own life at the age of 20. Um, they found him, they found his body at the bottom of Beachy Head. Um, so sadly, he took his own life, which is always sad. It would have been nice to have seen him do more um, with his character of Mark Fowler. Um, but his grave is just over here, so uh, I can't show you his grave. So here is his grave, and it reads, Much loved and sadly missed, son and brother, David Scarborough, born 3rd or 2nd, 1968, and called away 27th or 4th, 1988, aged 20 years. A young star who shone very brightly for a short while at peace. So, yeah. That's the grave of David Timothy Scarborough, who took his own life at the age of 20. It's always sad when someone takes their own life for whatever reason. Especially, especially when they're young, 20 probably had so much more to offer in acting and in life itself. It would have been good to have seen him portray Mark Fowler more. Um, but um, yeah, he obviously had a lot more to offer. Um, but sadly took his own life which is always a shame. You used to hang around with Nick Cotton, didn't you? Not a lot. Well, if you should happen to bump into him down South End, I shall give him a wide berth because he is trouble. Yeah, I know. And we don't want to end up like him, do we? No. Good. On your bike, then. I shall say farewell and... Uh, I'll see you next time in my next video. Remember to subscribe. And then that way you won't miss my next video. Okay, take care. See you later.